Hey, greetings. This is Ebby Nice, your birth doula, sister circle facilitator, and life coach. So today, I just wanted to say, whew, take a deep breath. All that's going on, take a deep breath. Inhale and exhale. So I had a um, someone um, message me, and, she, and what she mentioned, asked was basically that she's trying to stay protected. And my message was, you are already protected by the Most High. And I want to encourage somebody today that let's not focus on the fear, but focus on faith. Let's be wise in the things that we do in terms of using, um, you know, universal precautions, making sure that we are doing the necessary things to stay safe, to um, increase our, um, our health, our immune system, washing, hand washing, and things like that. But I encourage you to focus on the faith instead of focusing on the fear. Take time if you can, and I believe that a lot of us have time now, take time to find out what is it you are supposed to be doing in this season. Take time to listen to more positive, motivational messages. I believe it's important that you, we learn to feed our soul. Now we can, it's important to listen to news and things like that and get information, but you want to be mindful of how much negativity you are, you are feeding yourself. Because when you put in um, a certain level of negativity, you're going to have to put a lot more positivity in there. So what you want to do is balance, have balance, have a balance um, because Walking around being fearful and constantly being afraid and being worried is not going to help you. It's not going to do anything for you. It doesn't, doesn't make you feel any better. It doesn't help you. So come up with solutions. What can you do in this time, during this time in this season to uplift yourself? Um, I'm going to give maybe three solutions. One is um, listen to some um, messages in terms of wealth and healing or uh, ways to um, stay um, healthy. Um, there's a lot of holistic healers out there that you can be listening to. Um, there's great advice that I've seen so far and been listening to so far. Um, also, what you can do is work out. A lot of us who are home now, um, including myself, I was realizing that I was, you know, go to work, eating and sleeping and just, and just, and just not really being active. And that wasn't really uh, a good thing. And so we don't all want to come out just, uh, just looking really different because we're just not being active. So we want to encourage, um, you know, I encourage you. And sometimes we have to take uh, personal responsibility. We can't always wait for other people to encourage us to do something. So sometimes we have to take our own personal self, own personal responsibility and making sure that we are being, still being healthy and doing the healthy things that we need to do to be, to, um, to, to be in good health. Um, and not allow, you know, having to stay at home um, kind of negatively affect our health, was what I'm trying to say. So take some time to work out, even if it's 15 minutes, okay? Sometimes it's the, the thought of working out is, is just like, oh my God, I don't want to do it because I'm saying this for myself. And today I said, I don't, I'm gonna, if I have to do 15 minutes, okay? I feel good that I did my 15 minutes. I put my 15 minutes in. Put your 15 minutes in, okay? If you can put your 30 minutes in, good. One hour, okay, you there. But take time out the week to put your 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever, in of oh, time to work out. And also take time to maybe give somebody a call, encourage somebody throughout the week. And journal. Journaling is a great thing um, that, uh, to do for those of you who like to journal. So those are my three tips, and I um, want to again remind you, choose faith over fear. Choose faith over fear. I wish all of you much health and peace, prosperity, and please stay safe. Thank you so much for watching, and have a beautiful, blessed day. Feel free to check out my website for those of you who may be interested in a coaching session with me. And you know you have some gifts, slain dormant, and you would like to get a uh, coaching um, a life coach to help you get clarity about your vision, activate your gifts, and pursue your dreams.
then feel free to visit me at epislounge.weekly.com. That's epislounge.weekly.com. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Thanks for watching.